If you've got a 1959 D. Lincoln scent, here's a tip that could turn your coin into a treasure. Check out the D. Mint mark on the obverse side, which signifies it was minted in Denver. This advice only applies to coins with the D. Mint mark, so those without a mint mark or with an S. Mint mark aren't part of this special category. Now here's where it gets exciting. If you notice several layers of D on that mint mark, you might have hit the jackpot. This variety is known as the D over D over D, a triple punched mint mark that's highly coveted by collectors. Variety Vista explains that the previously punched Ds shift towards the southeast compared to the lastly punched mint mark. PCGS, a respected coin grading company, certified a piece like this at MS66 Red with the FS501 designation. Imagine this, an uncirculated error scent like this fetched a whopping $1,103.12, including buyer's fee, at a great collections auction. So that 1959 D. Lincoln scent in your collection might just be worth a small fortune. This might look like your average pocket change, but a 2020 D. Kennedy half dollar fetched an impressive $114.74 at a great collections auction. What makes this coin so valuable? Several factors come into play. Firstly, it boasts outstanding eye appeal with a bold strike, sharply defined device elements, and lustrous, mostly distraction-free surfaces. These qualities are highly sought after by collectors. NGC, a top coin grading agency, gave this superb gem a grade of MS68. It's just two points shy of achieving absolute numismatic perfection, which is the MS70 grade. So if you happen to have a half dollar like this in pristine, uncirculated condition, regardless of the year displayed on the front, consider sending it for grading to a reputable coin grading agency. It could turn out to be a valuable addition to your collection. No. As America braced for entry into World War II, defense production soared, benefiting both the domestic and export markets. The West Coast, in particular, saw a surge in economic activity, with the San Francisco Mint nearly doubling its output of quarter dollars from the previous year. During this period, collectors routinely saved all current issues in brilliant uncirculated BU rolls. The 1941 S quarter, struck at the San Francisco Mint, saw heightened speculative interest, making it common in grades up to MS-66. However, quality control issues limited the number of higher graded examples. Many 1941 S quarters were struck from worn dyes, resulting in coins with great luster but few details. To extend the life of these dyes, they were often, they were often repolished, leading to some coins exhibiting semi-proof-like surfaces, albeit with distracting lines from the abrasives used. One exceptional example from this period is the 1941 S Washington quarter in Mint State 68 with a star designation. This high-end gem features attractive toning, including frosty golden yellow, dark sea green, plum, and rich orange hues. It recently fetched an impressive $10,281.25 at Heritage Auctions, showcasing the enduring appeal and value of these historic coins. Check out this incredible 1995 scent. At first glance, you might think it was struck on steel, but that's not the case here. And what about a Roosevelt dime planchette? They have similar diameters, but nope, not this time. This scent is sharply struck and displays intact collars, making it unlikely to be an error scent struck on dime blanks. Usually those show distorted lettering near the edges. So why did this scent fetch $660 at Heritage Auctions? Because it's a highly coveted and rare error coin. This penny was actually struck on an unplated zinc planchette, meaning the blank was faulty during the striking process, missing its intended copper plating. Despite being a mint error, this coin displays immaculate striking definition and is in superb gem condition. The 1971 D. Lincoln scent with a major obverse die break is a coin that exhibits a significant error. Die breaks, also known as die cracks or cuds, occur when a portion of the die used to strike the coin becomes damaged or breaks off, leaving a raised area on the coin's surface. In the case of the 1971 D. Lincoln scent, the major obverse die break would likely be a significant crack or break in the die used to strike the obverse front of the coin. This type of error can vary in size and shape, ranging from small cracks to large breaks that can extend across the entire face of the coin. Die break errors are generally considered to be more valuable to collectors, especially when they are large and prominent. 
The value of a 1971D Lincoln scent with a major obverse dye break would depend on the size, location, and overall appearance of the error, as well as the coin's condition and rarity. Uh, if you have a coin like this, it would be advisable to have it authenticated and graded by a professional coin grading service to determine its value and authenticity. In 1937, the Philadelphia Mint had refined its process for producing proof coins. These coins exhibited a level of brilliance that was lacking in the 1936 edition. However, very few proofs from this era featured any cameo contrast between the fields and devices. This lack of contrast was due to the fact that the dyes were not sandblasted or chemically etched before the fields were polished. As a result, the dye cavities only revealed the natural texture of the steel. With repeated use, the dyes developed their own polish through friction, making true cameo proofs exceedingly rare for any of the 1936 to 1942 issues. According to Roger Burdett's book on the proof coins of this period, an estimated 7,390 proof 1937 quarters were coined to achieve a number of acceptable pieces for sale. Similar to 1936, the quarter dollar was the least ordered denomination, with net sales totaling 5,505 pieces out of the 5,542 appearing in official mintage reports. This particular coin, graded as PR68 by PCGS and later endorsed by Caxi, features attractive traces of aquamarine toning that enhance its stunning eye appeal on both sides. Housed in a green label holder, it was sold for $15,000. If you happen to have a 1964 D. Roosevelt dime in uncirculated condition, here's a tip. Grab a magnifying device and check the horizontal upper and lower bands on the torch depicted in the reverse design. If they are sharply struck, fully formed, and separated, you could potentially fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars for it. An example of this is an attractive specimen graded as Mint State 68 with full bands by PCGS. It features satiny and vibrant luster with rich russet orange, sun yellow, and forest green toning surrounding the margins, while the centers remain brilliant. This particular dime fetched $3,995 at Heritage Auctions. The 1971 No Esperson Nickel is one of the rarest missing mint mark proof coins from the mid to late 20th century. This error occurred when a mint employee neglected to punch the S mint mark for San Francisco into one of the dies. The mint estimated that a maximum of 1,655 of these error coins were released. This particular coin is a flawlessly struck, virtually perfect, no S proof 1971 Jefferson nickel. It exhibits stark white on black contrast and immeasurable eye appeal. This variety, missing the San Francisco mint mark that should appear on all proof coins of the year, is a deep cameo example. Deep cameo examples are scarce in any grade, and this piece is a superb gem in PR69 grade. It was sold for $3,995.